under the major defect it would just be the loose u-bolt that's a major defect okay nothing else okay just a loose u-bolt would be the major defect you'll make a written report inform your boss and put the truck out of service all right so now the next one is the tires so in the tires we got two questions that the examiner can ask is the damage tread or sidewall of a tire or tire leaking if leak cannot be heard okay so if he talks about the or if he ask you a question about the damage tread or sidewall of a tire so you would have to choose the tire first which tire you want to inspect okay so let's uh, inspect this tire so you want to make sure the tire sidewall no cuts no damages okay uh, no no cuts no damages basically this is what you're looking for no cuts and damages here as well make sure you check for uh, the tire depth here make sure it's more than three millimeter uh, sorry 1.5 millimeter on the rear axles and three millimeter would be on the front axles okay and then you go under the trailer here and you check for uh, make sure there's nothing in between the tires that's stuck in here and the second tire same thing no cuts no damage and the tire depth should be more than one uh, 1.5 millimeter on the uh, rear axles and three millimeter for the uh, front axles and then you go under the second tire to make sure that there's nothing stuck in between the uh, second tire and the other vehicle components there and nothing is touching the tire as well and uh, no cuts no damages on the any side wall of the tires here okay and under your minor defect for this category, it would be the damaged tread or sidewall of a tire would be the minor. Uh, you'll make a written report, inform your boss and continue to drive the vehicle. Under the major defect, if the tire tread depth is less than a wear limit, if tire is in contact with another tire or any vehicle component other than mud flap, tire is marked not for highway use or tire has exposed coast in the tread or outer sidewall area. You don't have to say the not for highway use, but whatever, right? Uh, then you have to make a written report, inform your boss and put the truck out of service. And uh, the second question would be the tire leaking if leak cannot be heard. So that's here another question under the tires. So if you ask you this question, the tire leaking if leak cannot be heard. So for that, you need to check for any leaks on the tires. So for that, uh, first of all, we need to grab a hammer or, or uh, you can kick the tires too. We have a hammer here, so what we're going to do is going to grab this one and I'm going to just hammer the tires to make sure I check the pressure here. Okay, the tire pressure looks good. Okay, all the pressure looks good on the, all the tires and I don't hear any leaks. And make sure your tr uh, truck is switched off, okay? So make sure the truck is not on at this moment because you want to listen for any leaks coming from the tire, okay? So there's no leak coming from the tires. I don't hear any leaks. Um, and the pressure is good. It's not flat. Everything looks good from the inside and outside both, okay? And under your minor, you're looking for a tire leaking if leak cannot be heard. That would be your minor defect. And under the minor defect, you'll make a written report, inform your boss, and continue to drive the vehicle. Under the major defect, if there was a flat tire or the tire leaking, if leak can be felt or heard, that would be the major defect. You'll make a written report, inform your boss, and put the truck out of service. So... The next one is the part 22. We got the wheel hubs and fastener. We got three questions here as well. Uh, we got the hub oil below the minimum level when fitted with the side glass. We got the wheel has loose, missing or ineffective fastener. And then we got the damaged, cracked or broken wheel rim or attaching part. Okay, so let's say for example, he asks you a question, uh, hub oil below the minimum level when fitted with the side glass. So, so let's say I choose this tire, right? So now this, this tire is equipped with the side glass right here on the front hub here, right? So we can see the level of the, uh, the oil, the hub oil inside here. Okay, so when, when he asks you this question, so you gotta make sure you check for the level of the hub oil to make sure it's above the minimum level, which it is right here. I don't know if you guys can see, it's above the minimum level right here, the oil. And make sure there's no leaks coming from here. Everything looks good. Uh, there's no wheel seal leaked, right? Everything looks good from here. And I can open the hood check the inside port as well too. Okay. So, there is no wheel seal leak, everything looks good, there is no evidence of uh, wheel hub failure here, everything looks good on this side here. Okay, now under the minor defect, so, yep, we got hub oil below the minimum level when fitted with the side glass. And then we have a leaking wheel seal that would be the minor defect what you have to do is you have to make a run report inform your boss and continue to drive the vehicle and under the major defect that would be the one over here evidence of imminent wheel hub or bearing failure that would be the major defect you have to make a run report inform your boss and put the truck out of service now the next question would be is the uh, wheel has loose missing or ineffective fastener 
Okay, so now you're checking for the fasteners, okay, of the wheel and the rims and all. So this is your fastener, make sure no crack, no damage, okay. The hub fastener, make sure no crack, no damage. And there's no evidence of wheel hub failure, okay, from inside as well and the outside as well, okay. So everything looks good here. So now under the minor defect here, there is no minor defect, okay. And under the major, we have uh, wheel has loose, missing or ineffective fastener and evidence of imminent wheel, hub or bearing failure. That would be the uh, two majors here and I'll make a written report, inform my boss and put the truck out of service. And now the third question under this wheel hub and fasteners here is this question. Uh, damage cracked or broken wheel rim or attaching part okay so make sure your wheel, uh, your hood is open and like the way it is right now so we're checking for any uh, broken wheel rim and attaching parts so this is our rim no crack no damage okay our attaching part the hub no crack no damage okay I don't see any damages here no evidence of the imminent wheel hub failure here looks good and then I go underneath here or inside the uh, truck here we make sure the inside rim no crack no damage uh, no evidence of wheel hub failure here as well and attaching part looks all good no crack no damages everything looks good okay now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be checking for the um, the minor and the major so we got the no minor here but we have two majors here so we got damage cracked or broken wheel rim or attaching part and the evidence of imminent wheel hub or bearing failure. That would be the two majors on this category where we have to make a written report, inform our boss and put the truck out of service.